What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World Podcast. And today we're going to be talking about the predictions of the Dallas Cowboys 2022 season. It's the shocking truth because a lot of you guys think I hate the Cowboys. I actually really like watching the Cowboys play because it's sort of like you know something wild's going to happen, but there's a lot of excitement with the build up before it actually does happen. And it usually results in a serious L in the Cowboys file. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to jump right into it so that you guys can see what's good. Like I said, I'm going to be as unbiased as I possibly can because I have nothing vested in it. I just enjoy watching football. Usually I'm right, but it's not because of like, you know, I know a team sucks or I know a team is good. It's just that I have a feel for what it is. I've been watching football so long. Very, very rarely am I just outright wrong. Like you'll be able to see uh, certain things that go into it. So yes, the Dallas Cowboys, they don't usually perform well and they are a team that's more prone to getting L's in their file, but that has nothing to do with these, like the way I'm gonna go ahead and rank them right now. If you disagree, that's why it's so fun. Somebody wanted me to rank the Cowboys and that's what we're gonna do. So let's jump right into it and see what's going on. We're gonna start off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I don't know if I need to say this, a lot of us know who the GOAT is, right? So they're playing the GOAT. The GOAT is mad that he didn't get to the Super Bowl last year because of one blown play by a safety because the defensive coordinator of the Bucs didn't get the play in or the, sa or the captain didn't get the play, whatever it was. But he came back in the second half and he was one play away from going back to the Super Bowl because you got to predict that he probably would have went on to win everything. Um, it's Tom Brady, so it is what it is. So I think he's very hungry. Um, and when a lion is hungry, well, usually he sends the lioness out. But, but well, that, look, well, listen, we don't need to talk about nature. The bottom line is the Cowboys are taking an L. Let's go ahead and just slap slap that L right in their file. Starting off 0-1, let's go. Oh my goodness, week two, the Bengals. All right, so Jamar Chase and um, you know Joe Burrow made a name for themselves last year. I think they wanna show everyone that they're not a fluke. I'm gonna go ahead and slap another L directly in the Cowboys file. Now. The Cowboys have the potential to probably beat the Bengals and upset them, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and think that the Bengals want, they, they got more to prove. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like They're like, yo, look, we made it to the Super Bowl, nobody believes in us, they're gonna be playing with a chip on their shoulder this year. So, you know, it is what it is. Oh my God, the New York football giants, Nick. The New York football giants, Nick. Now, listen, the NFC East is one of the worst divisions in football, obviously, but the Giants are one of the worst teams in that division. Uh, the Commanders also suck. We'll get to the next. Take it easy, bro. I know you guys want me to rank your teams. Let me know in the comments. Just say, yo, G, can you please rank my team, bro? Like, give me the give me the predictions, bro. Give me the raw truth. Because I'm going to give you the truth that your parents should have told you. When you come to me, this is what you want. I'm going to give you the truth that your parents should have told you. The New York Giants are a horrible football team. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slap a win in the Dallas Cowboys. How you guys feel about that? Cowboy fans, how you feel about that, baby? I'm gonna give you your first win of the season against the New York Football Giants because they suck. Now, we're gonna jump right into it. Washington Commanders, that is another W for the Cowboys. Let's go and clap it up for the Cowboys. They're out here beating bad teams as they usually do, and that's how they do. Okay, we jump over to the Rams. Now, this is at the Rams, right? So we automatically know it's an L in their file. We know the Cowboys are gonna put up nothing against the Rams and Aaron Donald and them boys gonna be hitting Dak Prescott all night long, baby. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and say that the Rams is gonna be a loss for the Cowboys, all right? If you wanna debate this with me, you can, but I think it's kind of frivolous at this point because we know the Rams is a way better team than the Cowboys. Like, let's just stop the foolishness. We already know what's going on. Like I said, I just feel that it's good. This might be a blowout. Like this game right here, this might be a blowout just to kind of show that, yo, Cowboys, yo, look, dude, either fire Coach McCarthy or do something else. But whatever you're doing, it's not working. That's what I'm feeling. The Eagles. The Cowboys have to beat the Eagles, right? But it's at Philadelphia. They kind of snowballed, you know, Santa Claus. I've never forgiven them for that. The Eagle fans. Uh, this is going to be a tough game. The division games are always pretty tough. This can go either way. Um... I really don't like this is I'm really like kind of stumped on this bro because I really don't know if I want to actually do you know I don't know I don't know what this bro I, I gotta I gotta go ahead and probably say that more than likely I gotta I'm gonna go with the Cowboys I'm gonna take the Cowboys in that I'm, I'm gonna take the Cowboys I'm gonna believe in the Cowboys right there um Detroit Lions like I said Dan Campbell hard knocks I'm loving it they're not a good football team so I'm gonna go ahead and say the Cowboys should be able to pull this one out giving them another win. You know what I'm saying, bro? I just feel that the, it's certain games that I believe the Cowboys just have to win 
That's one of them. I don't care how motivated they are. The Cowboys should win that game. The Chicago Bears are in disarray. I'm going to go ahead and give another win to the Cowboys. I, I don't like what they're doing to Roquan Smith. I, I don't like it, bro. They, they, they're, it looks like they're setting up a culture where dudes just don't want to win, bro. And I don't like it. And I know the Bears fans don't like it because you deserve better. That is a historic franchise. I don't like what's going on because Roquan Smith is a dog. Like, arr, arr, like, bro, like he's ready to go, bro. And you got the man outright saying that, yo, look, it is what it is. Like, yo, bro, I think the team sucks. Blah, blah. Like, dude, we can't do that. This is a real problem for me. And I really just don't like it. I honestly just don't like it. So, you know, we're going to have to probably, you know, just write the Bears off this season unless something else happens. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. It looks like a lot of disarray. So I'm going to leave that right there. Week nine, they got to buy so they can't lose, unfortunately. Then they go to the Packers. I, I got to give them another loss. I, I got to give them a loss because Aaron Rodgers is doing all kinds of things and it looks like it's helping them win games. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that the Packers should win this game. I'm just going to leave it like that. I believe the Packers should win that. The Vikings, I believe that this game is going to be won by the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to take the Cowboys in this game. I don't think Kirk Cousins and Jefferson have enough. I think that we have to kind of, we got to give the Dallas Cowboys some credit because it's not like their roster is really decent. You know what I'm saying? Like their roster is decent and they have a lot of pieces where they can win mostly any game they play. It's just that it's something about them where they just fall at the wrong time. And I don't, I don't know what it is. And we have to wait to see how it goes on. Um, you know, Trevon Diggs, we got to see, can he play, can he really play defense? Because that's going to be a tough assignment. He's been getting burnt all training camp and getting destroyed, deleted his Twitter. But I believe that he could do something to Justin Jefferson on this day. So, you know, we're going to give him the win right there. The New York Football Giants, that's another win. I don't see the Giants really doing much. So that is what it is. The Colts is going to be a tough team. This is going to be a tough game. The Colts are not a bad team. This can go either way. I, I really, like at this point, I, I I gotta go with the Colts, bro. I'm gonna give the Colts this one. I gotta give it to the Colts. I think the Colts are just, they're fundamentally sound on both sides of the football. Quarterback position, eh. But I think that they, they have enough. Jonathan Taylor is a, yo, he's a beast. And I just think that they're gonna do enough to beat the Cowboys. I just really, I really believe that. Uh, jumping over to the Houston Texans, that's gonna be an L. We don't need to really stay too long on that. Uh, the, uh, well, uh, L for the for the Texans though, not for the Cowboys. That's a, that's a win for the Cowboys, but an L uh, for the other team there. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone. We're gonna go to the Jags. They gotta beat the Jags, right? Like Cowboy fans, talk to me. You guys gotta beat the Jags. Like you guys gotta give me something to work with. Like you should not lose this game. The Jaguars are not a good football team. They're not good at playing football. So you should not lose to them. Okay? Hey, Cowboy fans, can you hear me in the back? Call one of your friends, bro. You should not lose this game. Week 15, bet it all on the Cowboys. No way they lose that game to the Jaguars. I don't care about any of that. Now, the Eagles, the Eagles coming back later, this can be a sweat fest, dude. This can be a sweat fest. I got to go ahead and say the Eagles may win one. I think that they're going to split. So I'm going to give this loss over here to the Cowboys because I think that they split. Is it a chance the Cowboys win both? Yes. But I really do believe they split that game. The Tennessee Titans. That's that's yo, Derrick Henry's a whole lot of man, dude. I'm not gonna lie, Derrick, Derrick Henry is an excessive amount of man. I'm gonna have to give them a loss with this one. I have to. And then the Washington Commanders, obviously, that's gonna be a win for the Dallas Cowboys. So I got them at 10 and 7. Alright? I listen, listen, if you guys believe that I'm wrong, please give me your version of the record and what you're seeing and let me know why you think that their record will be better. I, I see 10 and seven, all right? That's just my vision of it. That's as honest as I can be. Obviously when the season starts, things may change, but looking at what's going on right now, I have to analyze it based on that. And I believe that this is what their record is gonna be. Please let me know, but I gave you the honest truth. This is the way that I'm feeling about your football team. If you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, trust me, I love watching them play, but you gotta admit, Something's going on over there. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're having a blessed day. Let me know what team you would like me to rank next. Until next time, one love, y'all.